These are the fat pads around the knee joint, suprapatellar fat pad, prefemoral fat pad and hophos fat pad which lies inside the joint capsule and outside the synovium. And these fat pads are innervated with nerves so they can undergo impingement syndromes. Hello everyone, we shall discuss an interesting case of patellar tendon lateral femoral condyle friction syndrome otherwise called as hophos fat pad impingement syndrome. A 20 year old male patient presented with a chief complaint of chronic right knee pain predominantly on the lateral aspect. And radiograph of knee was taken and it found to be normal then MRI knee was advised. These are axial proton density fat suppression images where you can see increased signal in the fofas fat pad superior laterally suggestive of edema present between the patellar tendon and lateral femoral condyle and lateral retinaculum of patellar tendon and lateral femoral condyle that is this part of the hofas fat pad this part of the hofas fat pad present between the patellar tendon lateral retinaculum and lateral femoral condyle showing increased signal intensity there is mild amount of joint effusion these are sagittal and coronal PDFS images demonstrating increased signal intensity in the superior lateral aspect of the hofas fat pad between the patellar tendon and lateral femoral condyle the other findings which we can see here are highlighting of patella that is patella alta with insole solvity ratio greater than 1.3 here you can see asymmetrically smaller medial facet consistent with mild degree of trochlear dysplasia this is another case of hofas fat pad impingement syndrome this is its sagittal pdfs image showing superior lateral aspect of the hofas fat pad edema between the patellar tendon and lateral femoral condyle we should know about patellar tracking and maltracking patellar tracking refers to the relationship between patella and trochlea during motion and patellar maltracking occurs when there is an imbalance in this relationship and causes of patellar maltracking are patella alta trochlear dysplasia and partial tears in patellar tendons and patellar maltracking is more commonly seen in young women and early diagnosis is achieved with imaging to prevent complications like patellofemoral cartilage damage and osteoarthritis. In summary, Hoppus fat pad impingement syndrome is a mechanical conflict between the lateral femoral condyle and patellar tendon where Hoppus fat pad gets compressed and causes anterior knee pain. So early diagnosis plays an important role to prevent the complications and MRI is the modality of choice, especially PDFS images. Thank you. Hope this video was helpful to you.